Hello, welcome back to my channel, and welcome to the Hedgehog Hollow Hop. So today, Hedgehog Hollow is sponsoring this video hop, and they have two great prizes for you, so definitely check the description box below for all the details on that. And if you haven't guessed it, the theme is hedgehogs. So I pulled out the Lawn Fun set, Jump for Joy, because this was one of the only hedgehog stamp sets I had, so I came up with an idea. And this is a background that I created in a different video using paint and bubble wrap. And I also used um, um, Distress Oxides in that video as well. So if you want to check that out, definitely go find it on my YouTube channel for more details on that. So I'm going to go ahead and ink the hedgehogs up with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And I decided to stack these critters on top of each other. And I did three of them, as my oldest son would say. They're high up to the sky. And then I'm going to go ahead and color them in with Spectrum Nor markers. It's super quick coloring. And um, for more details on the colors that I use, definitely check out my blog and the description box below for all the links. Um, as you can see, some of the letters and codes are rubbing off on my Spectrum Nor markers because I use them so often. So if you can't tell which one I'm using, definitely check out the links below and definitely hop along with all the different videos to see more hedgehog projects from other great creators and yeah enter the giveaway for a chance to win I'm seeing a few of the projects and yeah you're not gonna want to miss them show your hedgehog fun support And yeah, so just coloring in these three critters, just using browns and light colors. Very basic coloring. I am still figuring out the whole spectrum more thing and blending and all of that jazz, but my whole philosophy in crafting is just having fun. And if you like how it looks, then go with it because keep learning and keep striving to do it better but just enjoy the process whatever that looks like crafting shouldn't be something that we stress about it should be something we enjoy it should be I know for me it's relaxing and enjoyable and yeah I get stressed out every once in a while but I don't know where I'd be without crafting. It's it's great. It helps me a lot. So just a little encouraging bit of information there for you. At least what I feel crafting is to me. And then I went ahead and Cut these little critters out off camera didn't do that on camera for you because that's very time consuming just adding some little bit of color for their cheeks to add a little bit of rosy cheeks to these little critters and blending that out And then the next thing you'll see is these little guys all cut out, like I mentioned before. So there they are, all cut out and stacked up. And then I'm going to figure out where I want them on the card. And work on popping them up with foam tape. This 
guys are having so much fun they can't just be flat on the card that would not be good and then I'm gonna go ahead and work on the sentiment and for the sentiment I picked a different stamp set as well as the lawn fun one so I'm going to do it's your birthday it's your birthday and this mama elephant stamp set from the bookworm set and this is the sentiment set that goes along with that and I'm going to be using no one stacks up to you it's your birthday no one stacks up to you so just using the powder tool and a Simon says stamp clear embossing ink on some black cardstock to stamp the sentiments and then I will be using Simon says stamp white embossing powder to pop the sentiment up on that black cardstock and then just melting that embossing powder with my heat tool and then I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the no one stacks up to you sentiment from the mama elephant set same process I love how the white embossing powder looks on black cardstock it just stands out so much and it looks so cool and then after everything is done with the sentiment I will be going ahead and cutting around this around the sentiments and getting them ready to go onto the card all right so I've cut down all of the sentiments and now I'm ready to adhere them to, to the card base. So just figuring out where I wanted them, how I wanted it to look, and then I grabbed the advanced tape glider from Scotch to adhere these down. And then to finish off the card, I decided to add a little bit extra to this card background and I decided to use Nouveau Drops and I used Midnight Blue. You're going to see that in a second here. So, Nouveau Drops. Yeah, so I just added them on the background just to add a little bit extra and I'm new to Nouveau Drops so I'm definitely not an expert but just do it how it, you feel looks good and play around with them and have fun with them and yeah I think it just really adds a fun look and I love the texture that it brings so you definitely want to let these dry for quite a long time overnight is best and then they're usually good to go and I just kept on adding them until I was happy with them and happy with how the card looked. So that is going to finish off my card. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hop along on this Hedgehog Hollow hop. And if you would like to subscribe, that would be awesome. And definitely hop along and subscribe to more channels as you go along. So. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.